Okay, YouTube. So we decided to scrap this motor. We stripped it down. It had a lower bearing noise and possibly gas in the antifreeze and the carburetor was no good. So it's going off to the junkyard and getting recycled. Hopefully we'll get some uh, beer money for that. And over here we have the project. I'm stripping her down right now. Going to the junkyard. I uh, pulled that nice slider window out of the back. And I, uh, I'm taking the dash apart. This truck had a they had a hundred and eighty thousand I got out of it. I got it with a hundred and eleven thousand. And all the parts we're saving are over there and we marked the the bucket and even uh save the save the motor mounts here. Right here. Oop, and there goes one down on the floor and the valve cover. Uh, all the parts that we need and getting ready to yank this motor and put it in here nothing in there and uh, recycle this You're truck. You're using it in school. Yep. Uh, shop. Uh, shop. Shop tech. Shop in, in high school they'll be just playing Mike's tape. <laughs> <laughs> This is what you do, kids, when uh, you go to art school and uh, you don't get a real career. I don't even know what that real career would be like. But if you're an artist, you also have to be a, a, a hack mechanic willing to work on old trucks. And this is a good 22R. This one has, uh, it might need a water pump. It needs a, uh, I'm going to refresh and put the other clutch in. Um, but I think. This Toyota definitely had some good times, but it has a lot of rust and rot. A little bit, a little bit crusty. Damage going on. There's nothing too good about it. I'd like to pull this windshield too because it's it's a tinted windshield. I like that. I had this put in. So got some parts and uh, pre getting prepared to. Uh, uh, to pull this motor and transmission and resurrect my first truck. Alright, thanks YouTube. Thanks for watching. And uh, don't, do, don't try this at home, right? Only if you have some beer. Some cores or something. Alright, take care.